Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today I'm gonna to go over why I'm getting into cell phone mining and the phones that I got. I'm gonna talk about a phone that I never even heard of and turns out to be the big winner out of the bunch that I bought. Uh, we're gonna go over my profitability and where the future lies for cell phone mining. So let's hop over and check this out. First things, uh, Varus Coin, uh, the Varus project, what is it and why are we mining it? Well, in, in a nutshell, it's like building a house. You know, you have a standard foundation and then you build a customizable house on top of it. Whatever you want for how your house, you want how many floors or you want how many rooms or how the rooms are configured, uh, that's up to you. And that's sort of similar here. What the Varus project does is that it creates a foundation for blockchain and then you customize it to how you want it to work for the project that you're working on. You could do this with coins and tokens also uh, on their project, but primarily it's for the blockchain. And then you can, like I said, uh, customize it to best suit your needs. Uh, to me, it seems like it's got legs. It's a great idea. Uh, anybody who's looking into creating their own blockchain, this is a great way to start. Uh, like I said, it, it gives you the foundation and then you can customize on top of it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that's it in a nutshell. If you wanna watch a little bit more about that, definitely check out Son of a Tech. Um, you know, uh, great video on what Varus Project is. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. If you want to watch any of these videos or any of the pages that I go to today, I'll have links in the description below. And don't forget, throw me a thumbs up. I always love those. So uh, I started watching uh, some other uh, cell phone mining channels. And one that I've been really hooked on, and I'm sure you are too, is New England Crypto. And he bought a bunch of phones. And one of his phones was the Samsung Galaxy A03S. And as you can see here from the uh, screen, uh, he's bought quite a, quite a few of these. He has invested heavily into this particular phone. He feels it's a really good phone. And you know what? I took his word for it and I bought two of them also. I bought a total of four phones and that's two of the phones I bought. Started watching some other videos online and came across a channel, a guy named Paperclip. And on his channel, he was talking about a phone that I'd never even heard about called the Orbic Joy. And I decided to, you know what? I'm gonna buy two of those also. Listen, a little side note on that. I did buy two of the Orbic Joy and then I went and I bought a third one. This is the one, the two that I bought. I bought two of these and these are the ones we're gonna be talking about today. This one here that I bought, um, Orbic Joy, this one is gonna require me to have a cell phone service plan to even get to the home screen where I can go on the internet and start mining or doing whatever I want. I have to have a service plan with this. Now I am gonna be able to return this. I bought this on eBay. The guy said it's no problem, gonna return it. Um, uh, just So just be careful when you're buying these that you are buying the Orbic Joys that don't need a service plan or that goes for any phone. Um, now when I uh, message people online, I ask them, hey, you know, can I just get straight onto the internet with this or am I gonna need a service plan to even get past the opening screen? Uh, so make sure you check that out. But these are the Orbic Joys that I bought in this particular box. Uh, I don't know if it'll be similar for yours, but these did not need a service plan, nor did the Samsung. It was just that one version that I got of that Orbic Joy that needed it. Anyway, let's talk about um, some numbers. So here's the pool that I'm on. I'm on Luck Pool. Uh, let me get the uh, the Samsungs up first. So the Samsungs I have right here, I've got one running at 3.81 mega hash and one running at 3.73 mega hash. If you can see those, let me get those in screen. So you can see those right there. Um, typically they run at about 3.5 and for just round number sakes, we're gonna say 3.5 because when we talk about the Orbic Joys, they're running a little um, higher than they typically do also. So we'll get to them. As far as temperatures go, I'm running at 37 Celsius and I'm running at 35 Celsius, which are some really good numbers. Uh, mid 30s, low 30s actually are even better, but mid 30s are acceptable. That's not a bad number to run at. Uh, when you get up into the 40s, you start looking to make sure that your phones are a little more cool. You wanna make sure you have enough cooling uh, to keep those temperatures down. Uh, just like anything electronics, the hotter it runs, the worse uh, and, and the more poor for efficiency. So you want to keep your phones cool. Now let's get into the Orbic Joy. Now the two Orbic Joys that I have right here, um, I got this one running at 4.67 and this one's running at 4.64 mega hash. And there they are there. As you can see on the back, they're the Orbic uh, and these are the Orbic Joys. 
And so they're both running extremely well. Now they're running typically at about 4.5. As I said, we're just going to use these numbers because it's a little easier for just the general math. Uh, and this one again, about 4.5. They're just running a little bit stronger right now. As far as temperature, this is at 44 degrees Celsius and this is at 43 degrees Celsius. So once you start getting into the mid 40s, you start looking into really temperatures and truly trying to get these phones to cool down a little bit more. I think when you get up to about 50 is really where you're going to push your max and you definitely don't want to go above that. You're really going to start having problems. Phones could break. I don't know. Could they light on fire? Who the hell knows? Uh, just be super careful and uh, don't let those temperatures get up. Now, these are sitting on my desk so I can feel on the desk where they were sitting that it's actually pretty warm. So uh, I usually have these on this metal uh, rack that I have over here and uh, wire shelving that I have and uh, they run they run a lot cooler they run about three degrees cooler than what i'm getting right now so this one i would say they run at about 40 degrees celsius just in general uh, and these run about 35 degrees for the samsung they run about 35 the orbic joys are running about 40 degrees celsius so they do run a little bit warmer in general but on this uh, wire shelf i'm not really worried about 40 degrees they're both running pretty good when we look at my numbers right here, we can see that the Orbic Joys um, are not really reporting what they're supposed to be getting here. Like I said, about 4.5 is the number I get, and these run at about 3.5. And as we can see right here, like I said, you know, they, they are running 3.79. So it is running um, uh, much higher, and this is 3.73. So they're definitely running higher than what they're uh, calling on right here. Um, let's uh, refresh that real quick and just see... Uh, Okay, so now it's it's jumped up and now my Orbic Joys are definitely way below because they run at about 4.5, as I showed you, 4.6, 4.6. So they're not you know reporting as accurate as they could be. Um, as far as earnings go, I do get about 0.19, uh, as you can see right here. I get paid once every 24 hours. Actually, I think it's once every 20 hours, to be honest. I think it's 20, uh, but let's just say about once a day. So I get about uh, 0.197 here, almost almost 0.2. So let's go over to uh, here for the uh, calculator. And 0.2 is getting us about 11 cents um, per day. Uh, just just over a touch over 11 cents. So we'll just say 11 cents. If I look at the mining calculator, and again, I'll have links in the description below for all this. Um, and if you look here, we can see the current daily. Uh, we can see that it's, it is calling that I should be getting about 0.2, which I'm just about getting. And it's saying that I should be getting about 11 cents. Um, and it's costing me about 10 cents a day in electricity. Now I did put 15 up here. I do get the uh, the 16. Um, it does run around 16, but for argument's sake, I just put in the 15. Uh, as far as for the power consumption, each of these phones run at about 10 watts. So as far as it goes for this one getting a higher mega hash than the other, still using the same amount of power. Luckpool does have a 1% pool fee, and the dev fee for using the mining software on these phones is 0.85. So that's why I have this number in right here. So if you're using this software, um, you're going to want to do the uh, 0.85 when you calculate what you're making uh, so you can get the most accurate number. And then also whatever your pool fee is for wherever you're mining um, from 0.5 to 1%, whatever it might be. This one is one. So I've got the 1.85. I've got my electricity cost in there uh, down to the hundredth of a penny. <laughs> and as you can see, like I said, uh, I am spending about 10 cents a day. So that means um, making about, and that's if I was at that 15, because that's, that's more realistically where I'm at. Um, so uh, as you can see that we're getting, well, did I do it right, 15? Uh, more, I'm getting less than that. So let's go down to 14. So it's closer to really what I'm getting. Um, so like I said, I'm getting about 11 cents. It cost me about 10 cents. So I'm getting about a penny a day, which means I'm making about 30 cents a month. This is saying I'm making about 56 cents a month. Uh, let me scroll up so you can see that. You can see right here about 56 cents a month. Now, you know, really you'll say, well, what, you know, Euclid, what's the point? What's What's the point, damn it? Well, but you know what the, really the, the point is of all of this, why I'm CPU mining, why I'm ASIC mining, why I'm GPU mining, why I'm cell phone mining. It's not only to support projects because I believe in them and I really think that they have somewhere to go. Uh, it's also because you never know in the next bear uh, or the next bull cycle uh, 
what's going to do really well and what's not going to do as well. So there's no reason why I shouldn't have a bag of several coins or tokens. Um, I can't see any other reason to not, you know, uh, spread it around. You've heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And I believe in that. And that's why I'm doing this. Now, am I going to make a lot of this? Is this going to, you know, make more and more? Really, it's not going to make a ton, but it is fun. I am having fun with these. And if you're cell phone mining, I think you probably are also. I've got four right now. I am going to be buying more of the Orbic Joys. I did buy an Orbic Maui. And I want to see if it's uh, under the umbrella of the Orbic uh, uh, manufacturer or if it's specific to the phones. And the Joy, like I said, is running about a mega hash higher than the Samsung. So I definitely want to stick in that that field in that area of that particular model. Uh, but I want to try the Maui and see if I can get them because the Mauis I saw were a little bit cheaper. They're more plentiful online on eBay and you can buy them used and uh, get them for next to nothing. Uh, I got a screenshot over here of the ones that I bought. So I'll bring them up. As you can see, here they are. The Orbic Joys uh, Quantity 2, I got it for $60 for the pair. Cost me uh, $5 in shipping for each one plus tax. Came to about $75. So $30 a phone. I couldn't argue with that number. Now, I did spend a little bit more on the, uh, the uh, A03S. Now, like I said, I did buy those for a specific reason because I had seen them with New England Crypto. And um, I am a big believer in, in what he's doing. Uh, so... I did buy those. I did pay a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, one phone was a little bit more expensive at $43 compared to $35. The guy said this one had a little crack or something on the screen. I looked at the screens on these things. I can't find any blemishes. I'm not sure what it was. Whatever. I got them both about $83, almost $84. So you're about a $10 difference, $9 difference um, in the prices of these phones. So I did get the Orbic Joys brand new. And they're running about one mega hash higher than the uh, Galax Samsung Galaxies. And uh, they cost me a little bit more money and they were used. So, you know, you do your own math. You figure out what's best for your pocket or pocketbook. Um, I think the Orbic Joy uh, is, is the big winner. Like I said earlier, um, when I was watching that video uh, over on Paperclip's channel, he was talking about his friend who did buy that other phone and you did need a cell phone plan for it. When I got mine, I didn't need it. When I did buy that one particular one, Orbic Joy, uh, that one required it. I could not get around that. So definitely um, make sure you know what you're buying and uh, and which one you're getting. Make sure you ask questions before you uh, you buy any of these because you may just be ending up with phones that you can't use. Now, I found a seller who had a lot of these uh, uh, Orbic uh, Mauis for sale used at a very reasonable price. Um, I'm talking like $15, $20. And I'm going to, I bought one, just bought one. I'm going to give it a try, see if it does really well. And let me tell you, even if it comes in at 3.5 for a $15 phone to get at 3.5, let me tell you, you know, I'll buy a dozen. Well, I think I'll have about 10 phones total. So I'm looking to buy another six. Well, I already bought one, the Maui, so another five. I figured 10 is a good number to get going. I can get about about 10 phones per shelf. I've got three shelves on this uh, on this shelf, uh, metal shelving, uh, metal wire shelf. Uh, it does have three tiers on it, so it's just one of those standard basic uh, wire shelves you get at uh, Home Depot or, or over at Target um, uh, with the little clips, and then you slide the shelves down where you want them. You know what I'm talking about. But I got that. It's got three. It's a little mini one. It's uh, it's it's not long. It's only about like that long, you know, about that deep. Um, so it is a smaller version, uh, but it does have a lot of airflow. It's really great. And I'm just going to get about 10 on each shelf. So I figure I'm going to start with 10 and go there. And then if I start working on my second shelf or third shelf, I may eventually get a fan, uh, just a, a generic, um, maybe a box fan. You've seen those a million times if you're in uh, any any dorm in your life. Um, but those box fans and just stick one over here just to move a little more air because with that many phones, um, the shelves are spread apart, but it may create enough heat. But we'll figure that out when we get there. For now, I don't want to put anything extra because if I put a fan there, I got to calculate that electricity also. Uh, so every little bit, uh, you know, takes away from profitability. So for now, I could probably get away with about 10 phones and have no problem. After that, I may have to do a little something. So anyway, enough talking. 
phones are doing great let me show you those one more time let's see this is 4.65 uh, and 4.64 and those again are the orbic joys and then the other two samsungs um they really don't i guess they say samsung they're on the bottom real small but if you look at those uh you can see that they also are running uh strong but lower than the orbic joys are so the winner today is the orbic joy uh, big fan of the Orbit Joy as of today. Find out more about that Orbit Maui. I'll let that. I'll let y'all know about that. I'd love to know in the comments down below what phones you're running. If you are cell phone mining, or do you think it's a complete waste of time? Um, if you are cell phone mining, I'd love to know the models, power consumption, and mega hash. Share that with the community. It's always welcomed, always appreciated. So definitely uh, throw some comments down there for that. Look, I appreciate it. I'll check it in. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'm going to have one right up over there. If you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, that button's right over there. Appreciate y'all checking in. Love to see you in the comments down below. Toss those thumbs up. Always love them. I'll see y'all next time. Stay easy.